Until now, we created all of our pipeline runs manually in Tekton, but of course, we would like to have the connection that once we commit and push to our app repository, our pipeline executes as well. And in order to do that, there is a Tekton um, installation or an extension available that's called Triggers and uh, Triggers and Event Listeners. And as the name suggests, it actually will listen to specific events and then triggers our pipeline. So how this works is that we also make these definitions in YAML. And of course, you can check out the um, example repositories that are provided. But basically, we will have a so-called event listener that listens to certain type of events, such as an HTTP call that ultimately will be provided then. And in our case, while well, we make a specific type of trigger for GitHub. So there are some predefined listeners available and our um, uh, the one we define will actually just listen to some specific GitHub events, in our case, a push. So once we do a GitHub push, then we will trigger our pipeline. How this works is that we have the definition of a so-called trigger template. So similar to what you saw in the pipeline run, we have a template, how it does these pipeline runs. So it has the, um, it has the connection to our pipeline here. And we will just pass some parameters from what will be called or what will be available in the event listener. So then we can even pass some information by however our listener was called and pass it on to our pipeline run. So this is basically how it works here. And if you remember the pipeline run definition that we called manually, now we do a similar thing. We just configure our uh, Git URLs. But for example, the build revision, the actual commit that has been pushed, that will be provided by um, the trigger template. So the trigger template also can define some um, some parameters, such as the build revision, which then we can use in our pipeline run that will be created with this schema. So this is now very similar to what we saw before. And we can also pass some parameters. What is possible then via so-called trigger binding, this is how we bind the actual information such as our build revision from, well, what has been called to the event listener. So for example, GitHub pr uh, provides certain information um, how to um, uh, what that will be provided in our HTTP call, which we can actually use and just bind to some specific parameters here. So this is, for example, how we bind this specific commit, and this will then be available in our pipeline run. Then a few other things that we need to configure. So again, you can check out this um, installation uh, repository. We also will configure a so-called secret for our uh, GitHub um, secret why so just make uh, to make sure that not everybody could call our trigger but that we actually just specify if the secret matches um, to make that available and in order to do that and a few other things we have again a service account for just our triggers here that for example has the um, access to the secret and that also just has the role definitions that this service account is only um, allowed to for example execute uh, the pipelines so nothing else and then in our case, this is how we could uh, trigger that um, trigger template to trigger a new pipeline run using these informations. So also what we can do, we can make some uh, further adjustments. For example, we could filter for some specific uh, events. In our case, we want to say, please only execute the pipeline once it has been called for this um, branch, or in other words, once a push has been made to this very branch, and then it will use um, what we saw in the binding, the specific commit ID to trigger that pipeline run. What we can do now, we have to make the connect connection that once we apply all of these resources, what we can actually see already that we have a service available in this Tekton uh, pipelines. That is our event listener for the uh, GitHub. So this is um, this has been created once I create the event listener, and this will actually be a service that we can then execute to, well, once we send the information, like uh, this GitHub push event notification, that then it will trigger the pipeline. And how this works is we now actually have to make the connection that our event listener can be called from the outside. Because what happens is in GitHub, we can set up a so-called webhook that then once we have the push to GitHub, it will just invoke an HTTP endpoint. 
and the connection can be made in uh, the different ways. So how to expose these event listeners externally. For example, we could use um, ingresses or if we have OpenShift, we can use a route. Or I actually will use um, Istio and I will use Istio routing for gateways and virtual services to say, please provide just this um, uh, this very event listener. So provide the service here with that port 8080 to the outside um, to calling my cluster here from the outside and then I can invoke it with HTTP. And this is then the connection because then once GitHub invokes this URL, it will actually end up at my event listener and all of this information here using, um, including the reference, including you know the type of the event and including all of the information that I could extract is then part um, of, my, uh, of that payload and can be extracted here. All right, so this is how we can make the connection. And once that is the case, we can actually try it out already. So we can, for example, set up an example um, call that we just um, try to fake here. So for example, I could use curl and then just have, um, uh, have an example uh, resource. So this would be an example, a push notification for a specific commit and a branch. That's the only information I need. And I need to, well, if I would like to test this, I actually need to sign it using that secret that I created. So this is, um, you can check out the, um, the installation here, how to set up such a secret, um, for example. And then I could use this to create such an example request. And once that happens, I can actually see that um, it already works. So I could um, execute this script just to trigger my pipeline for a specific Re revision, or I already want to make that connection to my GitHub repository. How this works is that I actually, well, in GitHub, I can set up so-called webhooks, and this is now my app repository, that then, based on specific events, this webhook gets, uh, gets called, gets invoked. And I can uh, check this out here. I can, of course, configure that secret and which URL to call, and then it will deliver certain events here, and if I would like to check it out how that works, I can have a look at the GitHub documentation, which payloads will actually be sent based on uh, specific events. So if I check out the push events here, I can see all of the information that I have available. So I could potentially extract much more. And here you see an example call with all of these informations here. And I could also in the deliveries actually check out what has been sent here. So um, in this case, I just see what has been delivered and then also I can try it out. So once that is set up in my app repository, what I actually will do now is I will just commit something and I could even create an empty commit so that doesn't uh, matter. I could just see now I created an empty commit here, but I can already uh, push this to my branch. So I push it to the Texton testing branch and then what I actually expect is that my pipeline starts running. So now this just happened because of that trigger. So it has been uh, called. I can also check out the event listeners here and uh, the trigger bindings. So again, all of these uh, resources uh, within Tekton, if I check out the dashboard, or of course I check out my pipeline run. And now I would like to see that here in the details that actually the pipeline has been uh, called with this specific uh, revision or with this uh, commit ID. So if I check out again, the commit that I have, this now matches my commit reversion, the uh, git hash to the revision with which I um, invoke my pipeline run. So this is then the connection that has been configured in that uh, trigger binding to make sure that my pipeline run gets executed with the correct information. And again, this is how I can make this connection to GitHub webhooks or actually to any sort of event uh, listeners or event triggers that once I do make some changes to my uh, app repository, no matter whether it's push events or pull requests and things like that, there are many um, examples out there, then I can invoke specific pipelines with specific pipeline run definitions, which I make here using these uh, triggers these uh, trigger definitions and event listeners. And now we have the fully fledged example 
how we can make some changes to our app repository where we can push the changes or open up a pull request or whatever we'd like to do. And then we can take these events and trigger new execu executions of our pipelines. And then we don't have to do anything else. So while we're developing, we actually only need to commit and push and then our pipeline will run and then deploy our application accordingly.